So now let's use this idea to find some information within the website that we actually want. So I'll get rid of this test case and we'll go back to our website and let's figure out how to get um, the name and the number of reviews of each of the sites on this page. So you can see that this page is structured with uh, 30 attractions on each page and each of these is nested within a specific structure of HTML. So to get all of these 30 listings, uh, we're going to use basically a loop structure that we covered uh, in, the, in the Python overview. And the first thing we're going to do is try to get all these listings in an array. So to do that, we'll specify a new variable called listings, and we'll say soup.findAll. And now we need to find the basic structure that all of these listings share. So if we go into here, and we say inspect element, it'll bring up one of the listings. And we see that all of these listings basically have the structure of a div with class called listing. So now if we tell soup to find all of the divs with this name, then it should give us an array of all 30 listings. So to do that, we say soup.findAll, and we specify that we want a div structure, and then we specify that the name is called listing. Anything except for a class decorator, we have to specify in the longer structure we had here, we specify actually the name of the decorator and the, the, the specific uh, name of it. But in a special case of a class, we can just, it assumes the class here, and we can just say listing. So this will basically find us any div with a class of listing. And then if we run this, so now our listing variable contains all of the HTML of all the listings. So it's a little bit hard to read here, but we can actually see that it returned an array of all the listings. If we type in the length of the listing file, you see 30. So it actually contains an array of 30 elements, and each of those elements is all the HTML of each listing. So just to show that we're doing this right, we're gonna, in the code, print a number of listings, and then we'll convert to a string, and we'll do the length of the listing object. So now we want a quick way to cycle through all the listings, and we're gonna use um, the loop structure that we covered in the previous class. So for this, we'll do for, we'll specify s as one listing, and we'll do for s in listings. So this loop will basically go through each of those listings in order. And here we want to get into each one of the listings and get just the name of that specific attraction. So if we go back to the site, we can see that the name of the listing is contained within this bigger uh, listing tag, but it's specifically contained uh, within uh, a tag. So a denotes any link, but it can be referenced just like any other tag in HTML. So what we want to do with this code is basically say, once you're in each listing, um, specify a new variable called name, and that name will come from uh, s.find children. So here we're just looking for the children of this s tag and this works pretty similar to find all but instead of finding everything it just it only finds the children of that HTML. Find children and we specify that we want the a tag and then we want the first element of the resulting array. We want to convert that to a string and we want to strip it of any leading white spaces. And then we'll just print the name that we got. And this will be site name and name. So now if we run this code, we'll see that it basically got opened up each listing within the array that we got and it found the name of each site in that array. So that's the basic way that you use beautiful soup. There's a lot of other ways. This is kind of the basic structure and most of what we'll need for this class. But if you're wondering about other things that beautiful soup can do, you should go on their website. You can get to here by Googling Beautiful Soup. And they have a pretty extensive documentation of all the things that this library can do. Okay, so now that we have the basic functionality of extracting all of uh, the information from each of these listings, I'm gonna start to wrap some of this functionality into functions so then we can automate uh, the process much easier. So the first function I'll define is a fetch function. And this function will basically open up 
any website and get the data from that website. So for this function, uh, I'll just copy and paste the code we had here. Except now at the end, after it's gotten the data, it will basically return that data. So now we can call the function, pass in any URL, and get the data back, which is the HTML of the website. The second function I'm going to specify is the extract data function, which will pass in a certain amount of HTML and will extract the data we want from that object. So for this, I'm going to copy the code that we created here for getting the name of every listing. And in addition, I'm going to add another line of code to get the number of reviews. So this happens in the same way as we got the name. I'll uh, just specify a different part of that code where the number of reviews can be uh, obtained. So here it's the same thing. And we have to change this S to data because here we're passing some data into it and we want to use the data to find children. So instead of S here, we're going to pass in whatever data we have here. So for this, we just do data dot find children. And the number of reviews I already know lives in uh, a span structure that has the class more. And from then, it's pretty much the same thing. We take the first one and then it's further wrapped in uh, a tag. So we find the first a tag, convert it to a string, and we strip that string of white spaces. And to verify that the structure, you can look on the site yourself and verify that that's where the number of things live. And from there, we can print that out as well. And then after that, we're just gonna print sort of a series of dashes to separate out these reviews. So now, this function will basically you can pass any uh, any amount of HTML, and it will search that HTML for the specific things we want. And the final function I'm going to specify is kind of a wrapper function that will call both of these commands to get uh, all of the information we want from a specific website. So we'll call this uh, fetch items, and we'll pass a URL. So this will be the URL of the website that we want. Um, the first line, uh, I'm going to get the data, the HTML from the website using our fetch function that we set up before, and we'll pass it that same URL. So once we have this page data, I'm going to copy and paste the code here for using beautiful soup to get the information from that page. So we'll call beautiful soup on that data, we'll get the soup, and we'll basically get all the listing information from uh, that site and within here we're going to do our loop again so we're going to loop through every listing but here instead of uh, getting the data right away we're just going to call our extract data function so extract data so into extract data we're going to pass this s data and that will return that will use this function to return the data back to us and for now i'm going to comment out all the code before so we can just have the new functions that we generated and we hit run so now this won't do anything because we have everything working in functions but just to show you how this works uh, we can call fetch items and pass in our URL from before and you can see that it went through the entire site and got the name of the site and the number of reviews for each site on that page.